always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. All right, guys, shaping up to be a very hot weekend all around Acadiana. Let's stop right there. Thank you, uh, um, Adam. I appreciate it. No. Let's go over to weather, and Adam will elaborate, flesh this out. How hot's it going to be, buddy? It's going to be pretty toasty out there, Scott. I mean, we'll likely be breaking records, and of course, we'll be extending that new streak we have of 100 degree days. Remember, on Wednesday, we did not hit 100, so we started a new streak there. We did hit 102 yesterday. Our Hub City Tower camera across downtown showing that humidity has returned. You can see that kind of hazy, foggy look beyond downtown. And we're looking at a temperature at the airport of 81. Although we can see some stars in the sky, it is clear out there. Our temperatures will gradually be coming up if we aren't in the 70s already. Uh, we will see those 80s very quickly. And then by midday, 96, 98 by 1 o'clock. And then we get into the afternoon. And there you see 103 is what we're forecasting going to around 4 p.m. Lots of sunshine. And here's the deal. That 103, well, that would break the record set back in 2011 of 102. So there you go, official forecast. Good news for today is that the humidity isn't exceptionally high, though it is still going to give us a feels like temperature ranging between 105 to 110 through the afternoon and evening hours. And that is why there is a heat advisory in place for the area. An excessive heat warning exists just to our north and west. We'll likely see that be extended down towards our region as we head through the weekend. Waking up tomorrow to temperatures right about 80 degrees and then going forward. I wish I had some better news, but there is no break in sight. Just for reference, the average high for this time of the year, 93. We're 10 degrees above that all the way through pretty much next week. A little dip here Monday and Tuesday, but look at next Thursday, 105. We're verging on our all time highest temperatures recorded in Lafayette as we go into next week. We do have to watch the tropics, though, because this little blob that you see out here north of the island of Hispaniola and Cuba is a tropical wave that's going to be working its way towards the west. And into the Gulf of Mexico, it has a low chance of development south of the Louisiana coastline. I told you yesterday we were going to have to watch how this all developed because how far south it went would determine if we saw any rain or not. And the bad news is, as you see, we get into Monday. This generally stays to our south, so only the coastal areas have a chance of rain. Now, there will be some increased cloud cover from this as some tropical moisture works its way northward, but it's not going to be enough to really help out. Each day, 103 through the weekend, maybe a degree or two more. There could be an isolated storm on your Saturday afternoon. Best rain chance at all comes Tuesday, and that's not really saying much. And again, next week, 105 by Wednesday and Thursday. You know, Adam, if you were deciding to run for public office right now, this, this would, would not, not be, be a my good time. time right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you very much, Adam.